February 21st, 2024. Can you believe it? Two diamonds in front of me today. We're going to review both of them. It's 5 p.m. So the sunlight here at the dealership is right there. And then right there is that bad Willie man. Y'all tell me Willie just got it going on oh, every which way. But look, sun being where it is, it puts more of a yellow hue on our vehicles this time of day. But I'm going to run this back on a morning or midday review to showcase how these colors change in the lighting condition that presents in front of it. And the shade is totally different as well. But we have a 2024 Glacier Gray right next to an iconic silver. Now, let me roll right over here to show you before we get into our review. You can see in the shade right here, it has a total different hit to it. It's a more similar to the Azure Gray than the iconic silver. It's more like Azure Gray, but a little bit lighter, a little bit more premium looking uh, with metallic flake in it and then iconic silver right next door it looks different uh, in the sun as well another stock one right here in iconic next door to a oxford white and the gate black stock you see all these trucks lined up right here and you see all this real estate by the end of march early april we're going to have you ready for this 700 plus super duty trucks you see people talk about they're the king of this or the king of that. Well, let me see the receipts. You can talk a big game all you want to, but show me the receipts because I got plenty of receipts. I got plenty of proof right here from the custom side and the sales side. Stock versus custom, either way you want it, we got you covered. Now look, this is not real deal style, okay? I'm not hating on this customer right here, but there's a many of you all that this is you. You are this customer. You're the stock customer. But I just got too much swag, and life is too short to live a stock lifestyle. Everything's custom about your boy. So this is the after shot. So let's go right here again. Before, on the iconic, identical, to after. Two and a half inch leveled on 37s. We're on the two and a half inch ready lift coil spring level kit up front. We got Falcon shocks. Now, real deal is probably, you know, like why? Why Falcon shock? Well, Falcon came on the stage for me when it came to the Jeep lift applications. Once I saw how well it handled and performed on the Jeep application, I'm like, well, I definitely got to try it on the Super Duty. So rolling over to this kit, it's a kit from ready lift that comes with the shocks and the spring up front. You're ready to roll, money set up in two and a half inches to me gets you in that perfect sweet spot. We tried putting a four inch block uh, on a lot of these like we did on the 17 through 22 and it just does not work. To me, this is the perfect stance. Now, if you are towing a lot, I would still maybe recommend the block in the rear or really I would recommend the Logic Q Ready Air airbags in the rear or the uh, airlift. Uh, either one of those is gonna take care of any of your squatting that may happen from towing. So without further ado, I'm gonna shut up a little bit and we're gonna get into these two right here side by side. You can see both are money set up on our Covert Edition package. Both have trimmer valences up front. We actually trim these up custom to match. They look amazing, y'all. Uh, they're not pesky and long like you see right there. I mean, no way. So definitely just those small attributes that we like to do makes a difference. Nothing evolutionary but just something that's going to elevate your game we're on fuel rincon wheels in 20 by 9 plus 20. Uh, we just ran this back on a white one but i love it on the silver because we did the, the silver finish so it flows nicely it's not all about black wheels galore i mean when i was growing up i'm 39 when i was 16 if you had black wheels you had a, a messed up ride something was wrong you were getting made fun of but I get it, black's popular, but I still love to throw a body color application there. So you got silver Rincon wheel with a simulated bead lock on a silver truck. It ties in so nicely. And we have no rubbing or scrubbing, partly because of our Carly torsion sway bar with end links. You can see it right there. That improves, there's your end link. That greatly improves ride quality, alleviates that chatterness you, you'll experience going over uh, road imperfections railroad tracks, etc. We're going right here. Factory sway bar. It's really uh, underwhelming and underpowered when you go uh, taller at all. To me, even if I had a stock truck, I would replace it with a Carly for sure. It just, it's proven 
to me time and time again that the ride quality is all there. So that's your components up front. Essentially, Carly Torsen sway bar, two and a half inch tall, uh, ready lift coil spring with Falcon shocks front and rear, 37, 12 and a half, 20. Uh, fuel Rincon, the plus 20 makes our mild to wild scale. We're on the mild side, in between mild and mid level, because we are sticking out just at an inch, inch and a half, but it looks great to me. When you come right next door to the glacier, I love this color. Maybe you can see some of that flake right there. Both of these, there we go, there we go. Both of these have to be cleaned up. We just finished them, but I wanted to showcase them side by side in this lighting condition for you all. Now you go from 37 on 20 to 37 on 22. And this is the TIS 553B. It's a new wheel, all black, looks amazing, glossed up. 37, 12 and a half, 22, open country RT trails, that hybrid tire. Uh, keep in mind what the load ratings on these tires are because it does matter as far as uh, overall experience you get with these tires. So whether it's an F load or an E load, just the equation matters and that's what you get us for because we are here to educate you on how the tire is gonna be for you, what you're gonna experience or not experience with that. But again, Kari Torsen Sway Bar, we added uh, some other attributes on this one as Morimoto LED rock lights, a new skew from Morimoto. Love those guys, but look right here. Perfect, nice and leveled. So 37 on 22 versus 37 on 20. Back to back, iconic silver on the far side, glacier gray right here. We're on a 22 by 10 plus 10. So this is naturally because of the 10 wide and then only being plus 10 millimeters inward this one's definitely going to be a little bit more on the wild side as far as our mild to wild scale we're sticking at about two and a half probably about three inches overall so again 22 by 10 tis 553b plus 10 rolling next door to a 20 by 9 so it's a nine wide versus a 10 wide and we're plus 20 millimeters inward more than the plus 10 millimeter over there so you can see side by side both are standing in the money setup overall. We got Ridge Grapper, the Nitto hybrid tire that's been number one. It's, it's been the primo tire for a long time. I'd say about seven or eight years now, it's been leading the way. So the Ridge Grapper hybrid tire and the new kid on the block, a sister company in Toyo, the RT Trail 22s versus 20s. What you know about that? I love both of them. I would roll in both of these trucks without hesitation. You can see out back, we did Husky rear wheel aligners because without that, you've got a no bueno under wheel well liner, not showing just body color, looking unfinished. So again, it's nothing major, it's nothing huge, but it does make a difference. It shows you we're paying attention to our details. We got gloss wheel, gloss black FX4 covered edition, and we are in the strongest and best country in America, one nation under God, United States of America. I don't care who's running the country right now, even if they're pushing it in the wrong way entirely, we're still gonna rock with the American flag because of what it stands for and everyone that's come before us and currently sacrificing and doing all they can to fight for our freedom, to fight for what that stands for, one nation, under God and your boy's gonna be behind it. There's enough alphas like your boy out here ready to take over and take charge. If we need to go to war, I'm ready. I'm telling you right now, one life, but we're not gonna stray from our standard. The standard is the standard and it is how America was meant to be and it's how my life was meant to go and we're gonna stick by it. If it means fighting, we go fight for it, y'all. I'm telling you, one nation under God and God definitely blesses this dealership because I see it and experience it and feel it every single day. And you all great customers that come here, I know you do too, something special is going on. At Aikens, we just got that swag from above, y'all. Covert edition, we're on the power stroke, baby. We're rocking out strong uh, inside. We got leather from the Lariat. The Lariat has so much to offer now. Uh, and price point wise, God, I like to promise you that this is, this is new to me. We're talking $91,335. Uh, again, just to summarize all of our components, you see it right here, 106,998. This is the Glacier Gray bad boy, looking amazing. We'll go right next door, got B&O Audio, Blind Spot Monitor, 
LEDs. I'm going to do a future review on the LED reflector headlights versus the projectors that you find on the Platinum, etc. Limited. So inside Iconic Silver, again, a little bit less, 88, 845 because of some of the uh, options that came with from the factory. Pause here to check that out. So 104, 802. Uh, as I mentioned, more motor rock lights on this one. Besides that, they're both very, very comparable as far as attributes from the accessory side. Uh, leveled on 37s, covered edition style, money set up. God, I've been blabbing a lot. If you're still watching this video currently, I commend you because I kind of got on a roll today. <laughs> so I, I apologize, but uh, these trucks are phenomenal to me and I truly love what I do. And I love to hopefully bring you guys and, and gals some entertainment because if you're watching this video, you could be watching anything else in this entire world. If it's on TV, uh, if it's the news or any of the other stuff that's on TV other than sports, it's probably not worth watching for a long period of time. So if nothing else, you watch my channel, you get to see some cool trucks. You get to see our innovative side on a daily basis. And I'm gonna spit the positive vibe to you. And I'm gonna tell you how I feel every single time because attention is everything. And if I got your attention, I'm gonna let you know what's in my heart. And it comes from the heart, it just means more. And I know that you appreciate my sincerity and of loving these custom trucks and doing what we do here at the dealership. Got to show you the back side right here before we go. Glacier gray. It just looks totally different in these different lighting sets right here. But to me, this is the perfect stance and perfect setup for a daily driver. A lot of times you'll see people that want to throw a four inch or a six inch or a five inch on this height of a truck uh, with 37s and it just doesn't have to be it's all about that equation but this is how you start out in the stock form and we got them for days already and many more on the way y'all thanks so much for watching i really do love and appreciate every single one of you until next time i'll catch you later but hit that subscribe button and also the bell notification Hit that bad boy too, because every day it'll let you know when the real deal review and video drops next. Peace out. Yes.